Here we go. Fernando's got a got a good question here. Any way to create a navigation landing page inside of Power BI app with but without opening a new web browser tab? Thinking on integration inside Teams, and that's not the behavior I would expect. So landing page inside. So if you're embedding an app, whatever's the first in the navigation list should be the default that's shown. Is that what you're asking, Fernando? I don't... Reed, what do you think? So, yeah, like... Because, I, I mean, I, well, what I also think landing page, I think a literal page in the, you know, in the report that's a landing page, um, which may or may not open up. But, yeah, I'm trying to see... I'm trying to think of this in the context of a Power BI app. Um, and in, and it's the, the new browser tab part's throwing me off because you normally just have the one tab open that lets you navigate any of the elements that's over in the navigation pane. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like if, if for now, if you have like a, a slight follow-up of a little further of an explanation, I think that so, might um, steer one thing, the right direction. One thing I will show here, uh, let me go over to, let's get rid of that and let's go over here. Um, so with inside of an app, when you go to configure the app, uh, actually, ooh, let me do this. Nope, that didn't work. Never mind. Uh, on the navigation page, uh, when you have a given, what is that? Patrick, is that you? Someone's got music going. Yeah. Ugh. That was me. That's bad. Oh, bad Patrick. Um, all right. So oh, when you I, do... I my ring off. Yeah. When you do a custom link or anything, like you can have this open in. Um, so like this one, I've got mm-hmm. content area, but you can choose whether it's the current tab or a new tab. The new tab will cause a new yep. page to open up. Um, and do we have that on reports? I don't think you have that on reports. Only on like custom links nope. and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Anything that's essentially an external link, you can right. choose to kind of the uh, the action of where it opens. Right, 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 right. All right. Uh, and I don't see. Those are my favorite things to come out last year. I really yeah. liked that new navigation experience when it was released last summer. All right, and it, uh, I'm looking in the chat. I don't know if you spotted it, Patrick, but I didn't see Fernando. Uh, he asked another question. Uh, or, that's, here we go. Can you I don't see follow up. Oh, there it is. Create... Hang on. Uh, yeah. So he said, uh, you can create a dashboard using reports links, but dashboard is too limited using a report instead and URLs will open a new yeah. uh, web browser tab. Mm. But, but if you put the URL <laughs> in the app and say, stay within the context, right? Go back to your mm-hmm. dashboard go yeah. Back to yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. App that you had open Adam. Hang on. Ah, too many, too many links. Yeah. So if, well, so the thing is, if you have a report in the app, that's not necessarily going to trigger it. But if you make sure it's the first one in the list, that's going to be the default. Um, but if you do have a yeah. separate link that you actually have the URL, that's when you can uh, control it. Yeah. Open in and then say, uh, don't use mm-hmm. new tab. Use, use, use that. Use current tab. If it's an yeah. actual, just like browser link. So. Uh, but like this is an actual report. You don't get that option. Um, but then if you want it to be the first thing when you embed the app, uh, make sure it's at the top of the list and that will be the first thing that's shown. 